Hello friends, Sarah Gaston here. Listen, today I want to talk to you about something that makes me crazy. Um, and that is when an actor will say to me something like the following. So do you want me to be more angry when I say this line? Do you want me to be sad when I say this monologue? Etc. 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 So let me tell you, just like in life and acting, we don't want to try to manufacture emotion to suit what we intellectually think is required for the scene. Okay, we just don't. Because in real life that doesn't happen, right? If it did, we wouldn't have things like depression, right? Or anxiety. Uh, we wouldn't have rage, right? Because I could just say to you, you know what? Be happy, okay? Sally, just be happy. Just chill out. Don't be anxious. Don't be angry. Don't be sad, okay? I don't know why my imaginary person's name is Sally, but there you have it. So um, when an actor asks me that, I, I just want to poke myself in the eye. And that's really uncomfortable. Because here's the thing, what we want to do is to create conditions to where the character will experience that organically. Now, if you happen to have watched my tutorial, How to Cry on Camera, I offer four different tips on how to do that. Um, but in life, emotion comes from either getting our needs and wants met or not getting them met, right? So if I really want to, um, say, get a promotion at work, I don't have a corporate job, but say I had a corporate job and I really, really wanted this promotion. If I got the promotion, I'd be happy. If I lost the promotion, I'd be sad or angry or depressed, okay? Because what's happened is I've created a want or a need or an expectation and that's either getting met or it's not getting met. That's where emotion comes from. So emotion is actually a product of going for what we want or having needs or having desires and either getting them met or not getting them met, okay? Now, I know I'm being super basic about this. You know, you can go into complex PTSD and all these other psychological triggers. I'm not a shrink, so we're not talking about that right now. I'm talking about acting. Um, and the thing about it is, it's not about working up this anger so that I can show you how angry I am. It's about experiencing whatever the character is going through and then revealing it, right? Letting us see it in your eyes, letting us see it in your body language, maybe seeing it in the color of your skin. You know, sometimes if we get angry, we get flushed and, and some red will come to our cheeks, um, especially if you're freaking super pale like me, right? Or if you get embarrassed, right? You might blush, that sort of thing. But we never want to sit there and say, okay, I'm angry now. <sighs> okay, I'm going to say this line and I'm super angry when I say it, right? I don't know why I just sounded a little bit like Melissa McCarthy and Bridesmaids, but you're welcome. Anyway, so remember, figure out what your character wants, needs, desires, has to have, and then let the emotion come out of whether they get that or not, right? Now, caveat, depending on how emotional the scene is, you may have to kind of put yourself in that state before the camera starts rolling, right? But again, use your imagination to create the circumstances that would cause that. Don't just sit there and say, I'm making an angry face and I'm gonna have an angry voice and that means I'm angry, right? Because the thing is, we're just going to spot it a mile away as fake, 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 fake. And then we're just not going to be all that interested. I hope that makes sense. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have more questions or if you have a request for a video, you can always check out my Facebook Live every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I answer all your questions live. And if you ask me a question or make a request outside that time frame, guess what? You'll be first up the following week. I also encourage you to sign up for my YouTube channel because I have tons of free tips just like this one to help elevate your work and uh, give you some things to chew on while you're doing your, your actor work. Um, also, check out my tutorial on how to cry on camera. I offer four tried and true ways on how to bring the waterworks anytime, anyplace. And lastly, if you really want all the goodies, I suggest you sign up for my email list. You can do it on my website, 
www.sarahgaston.com, no H, because there are some things I offer in the way of support and industry news and things like that that I just don't share anywhere else. Anyway, as always, my friends, I love you. Stay safe and break a leg out there.